Hello everyone. So today we will be discussing how fructose 1,6 bisphosphate is converted into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate. So this conversion occurs in glycolysis and it's the fifth step of glycolysis. To make things um, easier to understand, I will be giving numbers to the carbons on this. So this is the first carbon, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So in this conversion, people often get confused where the structure gets broken down and becomes two molecules. So this um, reaction occurs in the presence of the aldolase enzyme. And to make things clearer, I would prefer to break down this, um, like open the structure as follows. Like this will be a ring, but it would be sort of like an open ring. And like this. This is the carbon, the hydrogen and the hydroxyl. So, I prefer writing it like this. And the final carbon. I'm sure this looks a bit weird. So, to make it even more easier to understand, I will make an open chain structure CH2 O PO3 minus 2 um, here and here even when I was studying glycolysis this got me confused because I am not that familiar with like how open chain and closed chain structures are different from each other so i made this video to make things clearer for people who have the same problem as me minor mistake by the way okay so we opened this um from here like from the last carbon so this is the sixth carbon I will number them so people don't get confused so the aldolase splits the structure this way I'm gonna color it with this purple pen so that it's easier to understand and the other half with my blue pen this is going to be our glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate whereas this is going to be our um, dihydroxyacetone phosphate So from the aldolase enzyme, OH is added into this compound and the electrons are transferred this way and the double bond over here is broken. However, due to it being more stable, it turns back into um, C double bond O but here we form a double bond that I'll show here since this is the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate I would write it with my blue pen
and the other compound I'm gonna write with my purple pen I hope you guys understood how these compounds are formed and if you have any more questions regarding um, biochemistry please let me know in the comments and constructive criticism is highly appreciated and any other advice or any other questions related to anything i would try to explain thank you for watching